Adventurers Guild Arcade! Hey there everybody! It is time for an updated 2022 Game Room slash Arcade Tour video with... Yeah, that was here. Not really, but that was here. A special guest! It's Jesse. So, let's check out all the new stuff we have down in the basement. As you can see from this floor plan, the basement consists of six unique sections spread out across approximately 1,300 square feet. When you get to the bottom of the stairs, you're greeted by our Star Wars themed movie theater, followed by the arcade, a PC and console game area, a home gym, a full four-piece bathroom, and two storage areas. So now, let's take a closer look at each individual section. Okay, so uh, first thing, I am carrying around a handheld microphone because in the last video we had some complaints that the audio was a little hard to hear, so here we go. The other complaint was there's no Jesse. <laughs> so coming down the stairs and making a left, we have the movie theater. So the theater is comprised of four theater seats, a 106 inch 4K HD screen, which is uh, projected from that Optima HD60 projector. Nice. It's 4K, uh, supports HDR, uh, beautiful picture, works great, and there is a 7.2 channel, 1500 watt oh, Steve. <laughs> surround Steve. sound system. So nice. Two subwoofers, oh. powered by uh, just a typical Xbox, amplifier, etc. So we can watch Blu-ray discs, stream whatever we want, Netflix, Disney+, Plus, whatever. Uh, got our movie collection there to the side. And as you can probably tell, the, the theater area of the basement is Star Wars themed. So we have everything from, you know, uh, limited edition collectibles, various statues, lightsaber from Galaxy's Edge, just some knickknacks, doodads, you know, bobbleheads and things like that. Movie collection, we got BB-8 and uh, Stormtrooper here, kind of guarding the movies. The entrance to the theater is guarded by uh, Darth Vader. Some more statues that I've just collected randomly from various places, mostly Disney World. Some retro action figures like uh, Din Djarin, Cara Dune, things like that. Vader's got a lot going on. He's asthmatic. He's a robot. <laughs> <laughs> Yoda is uh, guarding the peanuts there. And then as we come along here, these are original movie posters from the 1997 re-releases of the original trilogy. So these actually were literally hanging in movie theaters in 1997. I saw so, that in 97. As did I. So, pretty cool. Uh, and that just about does it for the theater section. So we're going to swing around this way and we're going to go to the arcade. Okay, and here we are in the arcade section of the basement. So we have a lot of arcade machines, so I'm going to try to cover them as quickly as possible. Uh, and we're going to start with the one machine that I forgot to show off in the last video. So this is a real double diamonds slot machine. Came from a casino in Atlantic City, uh, but it works perfectly. So put the money in, pull the handle, and I did not win, but double what, diamonds slot. What happens if I win? Money pours out. As you can see, my son has been playing and has won quite a bit of money. Except for their tokens, not quarters. Uh, this is an arcade one-up infinity game table. So this is actually the newest addition to the arcade. I've never owned an arcade one-up machine before. Not that I don't like them, um, but I prefer real. Not to sound conceited or whatever, but like I, I prefer like the regular real arcade machine. This is cool because this is actually a coffee table that plays like 60, 70 different kinds of board games. So if you want to play Connect Four or chess or 
Chutes and Ladders or Battleship. It's on here. It's up to four player. It's pretty fun. This is Golden Tee 2021. I always have this updated to the newest version. It is 2022, but the pandemic has slowed the rollout of the new version. So this is still the newest version of Golden Tee. Um, Why does it say you're going to die, Bob? Uh, ah. I get it. That was good. <laughs> Adam Sandler. Um, so this is Golden Tee Machine. Super fun. Have a lot of fun playing this. Good times with me and my buddies, Jesse. Not so good, but you're, getting, you're getting there. You're no, getting there. I won't. This is the first machine I ever owned. This is a hook pinball machine uh, from 1994, I believe. I, it escaped me. I think it's but 1991. It's in nearly mint condition. Original artwork. All of the lights have been upgraded to LEDs. Uh, everything plays perfectly. Unfortunately, it is almost 30 years old at this point, so I do have to repair it quite a bit. One of the crappy things about having your own arcade in the basement is you're essentially a arcade repairman for an arcade that you make no money off of because people aren't coming and playing. <laughs> but I do find myself having to repair things all the time. Slot machine, arcade, pin or pinball, whatever. It's kind of annoying. You were doing a repair when I came in. I was, as a matter of fact. You so, need to grow your mustache thicker than a <laughs> repairman. This is the other pinball machine that we have. This is actually a VP Cabs um, virtual pinball machine. So I know a lot of people don't like virtual pinball machines because they're not real pinball machines. And I can understand that, except for this is super cool because this actually is as close to a real pinball machine as you can get and still being, still being virtual. There's nine or ten different actuators, a shaker motor, there's a lot of things in this that replicate the bings, the bangs, the clicks, the clocks of a real pinball machine. So when you're playing, it actually acts and responds like a regular pinball machine. There's a gyroscope inside, so if you shake the table, the ball will compensate properly. There's 300 tables on there, and I don't have the world's largest basement, so one pinball machine instead of 300 pinball machines, I'll take it. I know we do have a small audience for pinball machines, so you're welcome. <laughs> <laughs> this is a uh, Pac-Man Battle Royale machine. I don't know if you've ever seen Pac-Man Battle Royale, but they're in a lot of arcades right now, the few arcades you can actually find. Uh, what's cool about this is it's a four-player Pac-Man machine where you go heads, you know, head to head. So the last Pac-Man to survive wins the round, seven rounds. Whoever, whoever wins the most is the winner of the round. Very fun machine to play. And it has cup holders because they want you to drink while you're playing because they probably think it's funnier if you're drunk while you're playing. This is also our first head-to-head. -head. This is true. Speaking of being drunk, not that I drink alcohol, but I do have a lot of fun, random stuff in the uh, kitchenette area here. So obviously... <laughs> so this is like uh, Avengers theme, so I have the Infinity Gauntlets and Thanos is up there. I have you know a little mini fridge for down here, and then I have a bunch of fun random alcoholic beverages like uh, Ten Forward Vodka is actually literally space vodka. They make this by sending it up into space. It's interesting. Uh, Skywalker Vineyard. This literally comes from Skywalker Ranch, uh, Game of Thrones uh, uh, scotch. So a bunch of random cool stuff that I like, kind of like to show off there. Just some more various knickknacks and doodads here, some snacks and things like that. But, you know, if you're playing a lot of games in the basement, you need to stay nourished and you need to stay hydrated. So there's a kitchenette. Uh, Four-piece bathroom down here because, again, you don't want to have to run up the stairs to go use the bathroom. But it's movie theater themed. It's a four-piece washroom. Toilet, sink, shower, bathtub, no, etc. Nature cause, you gotta let it fall, you know? This is correct. And Moving you along. so much wine over here. <laughs> I think you're an ux because you're basic. This is a San Francisco Rush the Rock Alcatraz edition racing machine. Still has the original CRT. Recently been recapped. Super annoying. Once again, you're basically an arcade operator because you have to repair things constantly and a 30-year-old television needs to be fixed every one hour and again. So, so you got this from a prison. <laughs> this is one of my favorite arcade machines as far as racing of all time. It's a super fun, it's super, it's not a simulator, it's very arcade-like. Like, I mean, you're jumping over buildings and crashing through walls and it's super fun and it's cool. I have a couple multi-cades here. So this was originally a Street Fighter II Championship Edition two-player cabinet. 
the I still have the PCB for it, um, but it's been converted into a 620 in one horizontal fighting cab. So it has everything from The Simpsons to X Men to Street Fighter, like 10 different versions of Street Fighter are on it. Plays perfectly. One of my favorite machines down here. This uh, is a multi cade vert cabinet. I don't know what this was originally because we got it stripped. But there is a 420 in one PCB in this that plays vert machines like Pac Man, Donkey Kong. Donkey uh, Kong Jr. Pretty much, yeah, Donkey Kong Jr. is on there. So basically, anything you can think of of the old school, like vert style, uh, Super Gun Con Smoke. Gun Smoke, Super Contra, things like that. This is a Fix It Felix machine. So anyone who is in the know with arcades should know that Fix It Felix was not actually a real arcade machine. I heard I'm going to wreck it. <laughs> This was actually released, uh, Disney, when the original Wreck-It Ralph came out, released a promotional uh, software package for Wreck-It Ralph that you could play on your computer. This is actually a replica Nintendo cabinet with um, a running, just running a regular computer, running Windows, that actually just straight boots into Wreck-It Ralph. So this is literally as close to a real wreck it, uh, fix it Felix machine as you can possibly get because, again, they were not real, but this is a replica of what it would have been if it were real. It's real for me. <laughs> anyway, super fun. This is the big guy. Anyone who's watched our channel for any amount of time is probably familiar with this as far as what's available on it because literally everything is on this. This is a four player arcade machine, two light guns. It has a. Uh, Spinner wheel for things like Arkanoid and stuff like that. It has a ball for Golden Tee and whatever other ball-based spinner games you need. Bowling? Bowling, yes. But this has literally thousands of arcade machines on it. This is made by a company called Arcades Are Fun. ArcadesAreFun.com, I believe, is the website. Um, but I again, look at it sometimes and say, this is way out of my price range. <laughs> but again... Uh, this thing is like the Cadillac of arcade machines. It's got under cabinet lighting. It's all the buttons light up. It has, you know, like I said, two light guns so you can play uh, Time Crisis and Area 51. It's got The Simpsons. It's got X-Men. It's got Super Nintendo games on there. Uh, it's got pretty much anything you can think of is on this. Uh, this is my little area of my little ode to Nintendo here. I'm sorry, to Link, Legend of Zelda. I've got my little clock and my little figurines here. This is my little area, my little uh, Avengers area here. So I have a bunch of cool uh, PC, uh, PVC like figurines from Avengers. So Iron Man, Cap, Hulk, Thor, you know, the, the big four. Spider-Man, Black Widow, um, Deadpool, Doctor Strange. This is a replica of the Eye of Agamotto. Um, Rescue is down there and War Machine are down there as well. So fun little section there. And then that brings us to the game room section for the modern stuff. Okay, so this is the game room section. So this is admittingly where most of the time is spent because as much as we love old games and arcades and things like that, we do play a lot of more modern stuff. Uh, so I have two setups here because I hate playing split screen. Um, so when I have my friends over and things like that, we like to play on two different machines at the same time. So there is an Xbox Series X and an Xbox Series S on this, uh, as well as two Nintendo Switch docks. So we can play Xbox or Nintendo on two screens at the same time. I also have a PlayStation 4 Pro over here. I don't have a PS5. I'm not a big PlayStation gamer, but I do have a PlayStation 4 Pro. I'll probably get a PS5 at some point. Um, and then I have my little Nintendo collection at the bottom here. These are not hooked up, but they are, on, they are on display because they're super fun. Everything from the original NES all the way through the Wii U was at the bottom there, kind of on display to check out, to pick up and have those nostalgia vibes going on. But, uh, I dated a girl named Nostalgia. And then we have the PC gaming area over here. So I have my workstation, which has a 144 hertz uh, ultra-wide 30, 32 or 37 inch monitor, I forget. I think it's 32 inch with a secondary display, uh, mechanical keyboard. Uh, my favorite kind of mouse of all time is the Logitech MX520? Yeah, yeah MX520. Yeah, I couldn't think of the name. <laughs> um, I, also, I also work down here as well, so I have like my business phone and things like that, uh, but that's kind of boring. And then I have my wife's workstation, who apparently left New World running uh, while she 
started recording. So she's actually the one filming this right now. That's right. I am married, and I have a wife who likes video games. They do exist. Anyway, so this is her workstation. Uh, she plays a bunch of games here. Obviously, New World. But this is like the big uh, PC gaming area here. I have a VR headset. Oculus Quest 2 is down there. We play that kind of like in the middle of there where there's a little bit of extra room. My helmet collection. I got my Red Ranger, my White Ranger, my Mandalorian, my Iron Man. I have some other helmets as well, but they're kind of scattered randomly throughout. But uh, yeah, that is about it. With the exception of the... Oh, there's, of course, me and Jesse. This is my favorite, favorite part of the space. I bought this banner, right? Because we were going to do a bunch of conventions. I bought this banner, and then literally, like, the next day, the coronavirus started. So we haven't been able to go to any conventions. So there it sits. So I can see my face, apparently, when I'm down here, which is super weird. But I should take that down. <laughs> Only other thing we haven't shown you is the gym. So we'll, uh, we'll spend about 30 seconds in there. Okay, uh, so this is not like a weird workout, uh, like check out my home gym type of channel, but I do work out a decent amount, and this is where I do it. This is my gym. Treadmill, Peloton, Power Tower, Row Machine. Um, got a weight bench here, some free weights. It's nothing fancy whatsoever, uh, but it gets the job done, uh, and it keeps me... So is this real metal? <laughs> uh, this is a soft floor for when I drop weights by accident. Um. But that is that, and now we're going to go back out, and that will be it. Well, guys, and that completes the 2022 version of the Basement Game Room Tour. Um, if you have any questions, hit us up in the comments. We will be happy to answer them. For the Adventurers Guild, I'm Steve. Phil Jesse. And we will catch you guys in another arcade slash gaming video really soon. See you next time.